This video will show you how to add a new material to your Shockbox account. First, you would click your name over here to the left, click POS settings, then click pricing, then click materials, and now we're at the materials page. To add a new material, you go over here to the right and click this plus new material link and that leads you to the new material form. First you would include the name of the material. Next you would choose the type of material by clicking this field and the drop down appears. In the next field you would click the drop down and choose the category that it falls under. If you need to add a new category you simply click this plus button right here and then you will be able to add a new material category. The next field is not required but you can include your preferred vendor. Simply start typing in the vendor's name and click the choice. The next field is for the selling units. Simply click this drop down to choose the selling units that your shop will use. In the next field you will choose the buying units In the next field, you would choose the conversion factor. Simply input the number. If you would like to track the inventory of this material, you would click this box. If you don't, then leave the box unchecked. The next field is for the roll width. Simply input the number. The next field is for the roll height. Simply input that number. Input the cost of the roll. This is the cost that you would have to pay for it. In the next field, you include the part number. In the next field you include the cost. Since I already included the cost in the roll cost field, it automatically appears here in the cost field. And this is the cost that you are paying for the material. In the next field you would include the price that you're going to charge for this material. In the next field the markup will appear automatically. If you have a setup charge, you would put that in the next field. If you have a labor charge, put that in the next field. Same thing with machine charge or other charges. Next we have the formula that you would use to price this material. Simply click the drop down and make your choice. If you're going to charge per unit, you would click this box. If you're going to allow variance, then you would click this box. In the next field, you would input your multiplier. Next you would choose the cost of goods account that you're going to apply this material to. Simply click the drop down to make your choice. In the next field you would include a description of this product if you would like to. If you would like to display on description you would click this box here. In the next field you would include the purchase order description. This is the description that would appear on purchase orders. You can leave this either one of these fields blank if you'd like to. The next field is for the standard operation procedure. You can include that here other details in the next field. In the next field you can include a link to the information about this material. Finally in the last field you can include a link to an image of this material. And when you're all done filling out this form you click the create material button. And now this material has been created. So that is how you create a material in your Shopbox account. Thank you very much for watching this video and please stay tuned for more videos from Shopbox.